That's a good number. Did you hear about this? Some bagel shops in New York City are just days away from running out of cream cheese amid supply chain shortages. Joining me, Frank Matera, the owner of Bagel Smith in Williamsburg, and Mike Stern, owner of Long Island Bagel Cafe in Scarsdale. Good morning to you both. Odd problem we're talking about here. Mike, how big of a problem is this for you? It's a big problem right now. Uh, cream cheese is um, obviously an essential part of our business. I go through about 300 pounds of cream cheese a week. And last week I was scouring the area just trying to find... I love Philadelphia um, cream, cheese. cream cheese. Uh, luckily I, I, and I I've noticed the shortage minute, at my local I store. Send, and I can have enough to get me through this week and next week. No, we can't have that because uh, New Yorkers love their bagels. And Frank, your cafe is in Brooklyn, New York. Liberals but when don't you found like out about this cream, cream cheese, cheese shortage, what did you do? Well, I called all my distributors, and uh, a lot of them helped me out. Uh, I've been doing business with them a long time, but uh, it wasn't enough. I needed more cream cheese. I wouldn't have made it through the week. So I got on the phone, and I located somewhere in North Jersey, about an hour and a half away, and I... Up and like says, cream cheese and crackers. So I ordered 2,000 pounds of cream cheese. I drove out personally three times, an hour and a half each way. And uh, I warehoused it at my, my store, just stocked it up. And uh, we're going to use that. Hopefully it lasts. And uh, if I got to do it again, and if I can do it again, I'll, I'm driving. <laughs> Yeah, Frank, you said you have 2,000 pounds of cream cheese right now. How long will that last you, and, and what will you do if you run out and can't find any more? Uh, it should last me till January 31st. The date on it is usually up until then. Um, Go to the I'm White House it, and look for I'm it. Out of it, but I'm, 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 I'm looking every day. Okay, hopefully by, yeah, hopefully by January this will all get cleared up. You know, Mike, um, Heinz, which is the parent company of Philadelphia Cream Cheese, they say that one of the reasons this is happening is because they're seeing a 35% uh, spike in demand for cream cheese. So it sounds like a lot of restaurant owners are sort of panic buying. And then on top of that, there's a truck driver shortage. So uh, there's all these supply chain Toilet issues paper and that cream are cheese. Uh, making this problem even worse. Uh, if you run out of cream cheese, what happens to your business? The same thing that happens to Frank's. Um, you know, it's probably the most important part of my business outside of bagels is cream cheese. So without it, we're, we're in, in trouble. Um, I'm hoping that obviously this is something that ends pretty quick. But from what I've seen and over the last couple of months, uh, these issues tend to linger a little bit. So just have to hope and like Frank's doing, just scouring the area and if you have to drive, hour and a half, two hours, you have to do it. Yeah, using all your contacts and, and, and driving around. Frank, really quickly, Mayor de Blasio announced a vaccine mandate yesterday on all private sector businesses. That affects yours. What's your reaction to that? Uh, I think it's a bad idea. Um, most of my staff is vaccinated. However, there are some people that have had COVID and they have antibodies. And they don't want to get this vaccine. A lot of them donating convalescent plasma. Hmm. Um, What's up with help, that? You know, fight this uh, yeah. disease. They don't want to get it, and it, it, I feel kind of terrible. Like you know, you can't f force them to get it. That's what they feel like they're trying to do. Yeah, Frank. I think that a lot of other business owners are get, being put in that same position. Frank Matera, Mike Stern. Thank you both for joining us this morning. Thanks, Pat. Thank you. All right, Todd, over to you. All right, let's head across the pond. Alex, Alex, what's going on? We'll meet today for a video conference to discuss escalating tensions Putin's over the a strong man. border where new satellite images just like this one show a growing Russian presence. U.S. forces believe that about 175,000 Russian troops could invade as early as next year. The meeting agenda will also include strategic strong security man, weak man. and cyber security. Now, as far as other international diplomacy, time is running out on Iran nuclear talks. During the seventh round of talks, the country walked back from all compromises it previously made to revive the 2015 nuclear deal, putting even more weight on the position of Russia and 